Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another episode of Jurassic Park The Game. And we just saw our father get brutally killed uh, in between a Triceratops and a Tyrannosaurus Rex fight. And it was bloody and gross and now we've died for the tenth time because of the terrible gameplay mechanics and button presses and quick time events of this game. And it won't be the last time, I'm sure. Let's try again. Wow, this one's got me going really far back in the quick time event. Let's go some different directions than when we went to before. Wow. Okay, so when I... You were given the second to last option. You were given the ability to... Uh, to either press right or down. And that gave a slightly different animation. And this kill screen is a slightly different kill screen. They've cut it down from the first one, which was several seconds longer. But still died in the same place. I would much rather the words I've said be the reason why these outcomes are. I would much rather not be these quick time events. You can see how he said stay inside with the chest. He's giving you the option at what time to say that. To either hold your tongue or say it now. That might very well change what's going on. No. Slightly different. Two legs. <laughs> That's some strange expressions on that face right there. Well, that should get her through the night. What's left of it. Tomorrow, we'll get a proper treatment. At least we didn't have to look around the room and find ingredients to bandage her arm or anything like that. This is what I want the game to be. Just all this, a lot more dialogue, forget the quick time events. Come on, Jesse. We're safe now. Yeah. Watch, it's gonna start making me look for things. That reminds me of your old honey bear nightlight. Remember that? You wouldn't go to sleep without it. Yeah, dinosaurs can't get through that door, right? Well, they could try, but they couldn't possibly fit through. Dad? Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Remember how I said I wanted to see the dinosaurs fight each other? Yeah. That was so awesome. Get some sleep, honey. <sighs> Thank you. 
Wow. Best father in the world can tell their kid, a teenage daughter, to go to sleep, and she immediately does it. In fact, she immediately listens to him half the time he says something. Okay, none of this is necessary. in the story are we as compared to the movie? Was this when the the main group in the movie were able to turn the power back on? Oh, he did. Under the circumstances, I think we did. This isn't supposed to happen. One loose trike, okay, but a Tyrannosaur? That's beyond unacceptable. I gotta talk to Muldoon and the security team. Uh-oh. Are you gonna bring the hammer down? Look, whoever let this happen has to be held accountable. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the hammer down. Cool. So, how are we gonna get to the visitor center? That's an excellent question. No car and no radio doesn't leave us a lot of options. Well, at least the main power's back on. That should be good for something. I think most of the uh, later, latter half of the movie was during the storm. And we have video. How did you do that? It's an easy hack. The system's held together with spit and bailing wire, like everything else in this damn park. Looks like we're not the only ones who missed the boat. They won't last long in the open. Let's get them out of there. How do we get to them? We're miles away, and the access road is washed out. We may be stuck here in the boondocks, but those two are standing right on the main tour loop. Watch this. Telephone? I wonder if any of this is still working. Uh... Yeah, that's not gonna work. There's a very funny statement in the main Jurassic Park movie where this little girl who's supposed to be a hacker, she looks at the screen and she goes, I know this, it's a Unix system. And I always burst out laughing right then and there because one, this little girl in no way could hack anything. She's, she doesn't look the part nor that is she uh, old enough to have that knowledge and two there's no way in the world she would be using Unix <laughs> very few people use Unix that's very high level IT stuff let's see tour vehicles maybe ah here we go I just hope the system's online done damn it Okay, fine. I better get security access. So we gotta go. This is very similar to what the graphics looked like in the movie. Although, actually, this is probably a lot better graphically. Jurassic Park's an old movie. You didn't 
Oh, Dennis Nedry. You want a magic word? I've got some just for you. Am I hitting buttons? Uh, X. Storage? Of course. All right, we've got access. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh, access control. Security right. access. Right. We've already got access. Oh. So, control. System restart, remote access. I'll be thing. damned. They must have cycled main power. Why would they do that? So, data. Nedry land. And then. Well, I, I don't know if any of this has anything to do with anything. Let's just. Focus on the task at hand. That's getting more like it. Vehicle one, I guess. Offline. Ca catastrophic failure. I've been fail? saying this whole park is doomed to catastrophic failure. Pretty long. But one of these junk heaps is still working. So what are we gonna do? Just automate? Automate a car to them. Okay, little lambs, just wait right there and I'll send a car to fetch you. Somebody knows we're here. You told me never, ever hitchhike. Except when you're on an island full of dinosaurs. Come on, honey, let's get our patient. <sighs> Did we Is jump to the second us? episode? Tour cars only go a few places. If you can hear us, we need to go to the visitor center. Looks like one of them's hurt. I'm surprised it's only one. Let's get him to the center. Here we go. Can't this car go any faster? It's gonna take forever. Oh. You've been in an accident. You're safe now. You're gonna be fine. We're taking you to. Bastardo! Moridas por tus pecados. Calm down. What's happening? She's delirious. She could be hallucinating. Mariquita. She says I I'm, I'm her angel. Hola, como estas? No sabes cuánto he esperado. Jess, just keep talking to her. Tell her she needs to relax. She's got to rest. My Spanish isn't that good. You can do it, honey. Just, just tell her she needs to rest. Mariquita. ¿Qué pasa, mi amor? Uh, uh... Uh, let's see... So, my Spanish isn't that good. Uh, Tio, I think, is the right word. Tio. Uh... Necessity. Necesita. La Vesta? It's not your book. A la piece, the scanner. La resta, Tio necesita la resta. La resta. Uncle needs subtraction. Estamos hablando de las matemáticas. I think la resta doesn't mean what I thought it did. Uh, let's see. So Tio's uncle. Uh, let's try it. Usted. Usted. Uh. Necesita. Uh, un lapis? Un lapis? Usted necesita un lapis. Un lapis. I got it halfway. Para que un lapis. No, wait. I didn't say that quite right. Alright, so... 
Instead. Instead. Necessita. Necessita. This is cool. It's it's not a book. It's a biblioteca's book. It must be El Descanso. El Descanso? Usted necesita El Descanso. El Descanso? Si, si. Estoy cansada. Huh. I guess summer school paid off. Miss Ortega's never gonna believe this. I never took Spanish in school. I should have. Dad, look. I think this is our stop. This concludes our tour. Don't forget to visit the gift shop on your way home. That is messed up. Let's go. So, I feel like, as far as in line with the movie timeline, yeah, that's them flying away. That's the end of the movie. Right there. Hello? Hey, can somebody help us, please? So, everything that happens now is... Hello? ...doesn't have to intertwine with the movie timeline at all. What happened? Where is everybody? Well, the boat hasn't brought everyone back yet. Rough waters, maybe. Jess, I think you should stay by our patient. I'm gonna look around a little, okay? Okay, but why are you talking like that? <laughs> I was about Someone to ask the same question. Us, right? It's coming from the PA system. They must be broadcasting on the emergency channel. Hang on, I'm gonna track this down. Journal unlocked. We'll see what the journal's all about when we get to the um, end of this game. Let's just see. It's just always asking people. How are you doing, okay. Jess? Hanging in there? Hi, Mia Smoke. I'll take that as I'm fine, Dad. <laughs> really? <laughs> Even if she does smoke, <laughs> don't say that to your dad. <laughs> Even if you're 40 years old and you're saying it to your dad, don't say that to your dad. There's a radio in there. Can I help? You got it. Let's get this channel right. Okay, so we want a non weak signal and Hello? This is Jerry Harding. I'm That's the chief sucks. veterinarian. I know who you are. This is Laura Sorkin. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Dr. Sorkin, you're still on the island? We're stuck in the field lab. The road's washed out and our phone lines are down. What's your story? We saw a T-Rex on the tour road. My daughter and I are lucky to be alive. Do you know what's going on? Security went down last night. Naturally, the park's going to hell. Looks like Hammond already evacuated. I don't think he meant to leave us. No, of course not. I'll try to call the mainland from here. They'll send a helicopter. But first, Doctor, I've got a very, very sick woman on my hands. She seems to have been bitten. I, I don't recognize the bite. Whatever it is, it's incredibly toxic. Toxic? And... Is it a ragged wound? Heterodont bite pattern about 20 centimeters across the jaw? That sounds about right. What about her eyes? Discolored sclera, opsoclonus? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm seeing. 
You don't have much time. She's gonna go into a series of convulsions and she won't come back. Do you have any carfentanil? I don't know what half of those words were. Come on. What is this? A game for for PhDs? Uh Carfentanil? An opioid? No, I, I don't, Doctor, but I mean what good would that I don't have time to explain. A quarter mil should do it. Less uh, Doctor Sorkin, oh. with all due respect, that dosage would kill Dr. Her. Harding, you've got to trust me on this. You need a powerful tranquilizer to counter the toxins. You need it quick. All right. If you want uh, all right, okay, uh, maybe in the lab. No, no wait, the trank darts for the rifle. That's in a torphine blend. That could work. Get that into her as quick as you can. In the meantime, stay with her. When the shaking starts, you need to hold her steady. But, isn't that dangerous? I mean, normally if someone's having a seizure... Please, just follow my instructions. Her life depends on it. Call me on this channel after you've given her the tranquilizer. Will do. Uh, is she trying to, to kill her? So I can work on her. And I'm gonna tranquilizer need... Tranquilizer darts. Yeah, I heard. They're in the car. I'll get them. Okay, but listen to me. If you hear anything, see anything, don't take any risks. You just come straight back here. Don't worry. I'm on it. Oh good, quick time events walking downstairs. I hear something and I see something. And that's not following instructions. And now I see two things. Now it's just sitting there. <gasps> now I've heard two things. Run. I'd, I would run anyways. Even not having heard anything or seen anything. All oh, these scenes are so, like, just cut. How much of this game was left Jess, on the cutting room where floor? Are you? Jess, get out now! What? How that? Enough to cause it to it's take more than that to get its attention. Um, come on. Dr. Sorkin, we need some help. Not yet, but I'm losing Son of a uh T-Rex, hey you. Hey! You! Up here! Right here! Apparently they can hear. 
figured that you could. Uh, Gotta get it away from Jess. Uh, let's see. Is there anything we can do? Present, uh, well, omniscient mentality that so I'm controlling two people. Get it, get it, get it. Wrong button. I didn't think I made that. Yeah, it still said okay. I guess I got far enough. Yes, yeah, hold her still. Just a drop. Cut that whole section. Just stay down. They don't bother to animate it. They don't, they don't bother to show it. Just cut. Hold on tight. I'm gonna I'm still mad about the the section before being cut. I'm right here. Because it's okay. gonna make me hit the button. One. Okay, I didn't see that coming. No, I'll grant you that. Yeah, the gun. Hey. Why did he de disload it? Why would you ever deload it? Oh. That's gotta be the most quick acting tranquilizer so it's kind of cool the game trains you to take these actions before in the previous a section at least they were kind of thinking in that direction of gameplay they would come back But that wasn't really cool or thrilling. Am I looking for a signal right now? What kind of idiot would be looking for a signal right now? Dr. Sorkin. I'm here. What's happening? Trust me on this one, please. Start the car. Alright, hang on. Really? 
really? Are they that blind? And he'll just chase a car because it's moving and leave the two people behind it. It's gone. Good. Dad? Yeah. What? <laughs> I've seen enough dinosaurs. In that case, what's with the echo? Let's man? go home. Come on. I need to make a phone call. What was the echo of you in this and that? How long has it been? We found you last night. We sort of, like, ran into you. Maldita sea. So, who is Mariquita? Mariquita? It's, it's nobody. A word. Oh, my Spanish is so lame. I was trying to talk to you in the car, and it's like, I thought you were gonna kill me because my grammar sucks. So, um, what did we talk about? Help's on the way. The control room's a mess, but the phones are working. Hey, you look a whole lot better. Help is on the way? Ian Jen is sending a rescue team. A helicopter will be here soon to take us to the mainland. We'll get you looked at by a people doctor instead of a vet. A rescue team? Injun. My things. I had a pack. Oh, it's right here. <sighs> Just throw it at her. Just lay it on thick. You nearly You were in pretty bad shape there for a while. Bad shape? You almost died, but my dad patched you up. I had a pretty great assistant. Thank you. Both of you. Yeah, well, I'll send you a bill later. Now, can you tell us what happened? Honestly, she should just let Injun pick her up. What are they gonna I'm do, throw her in jail? The plumbing is... broken. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for this. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Take it easy, don't push yourself. There won't be any rescue. Not for you. Really? Really. And so that ends episode two. She's just gonna shoot him? Why didn't she just stick with it and and get rescued. Even if she gets thrown in jail, it's better than being on this island full of dinosaurs. Makes no sense. I kinda like this though. I like the, the music, I like remembering watching Jurassic Park. And I've only watched Jurassic Park maybe once. I've seen it bits and pieces on TV, but I, I'm not a super fan of it. But this is kind of nostalgic. Isla and Nublo. The name of the island, I suppose. Hey Yoder, looks like the storm really tore this place up. Yeah, it ain't the storm we're here to rescue people from, decaf. Yeah, I heard. So who did get left behind on Dino Island? Oscar, you have the list. Remind decaf what we're doing here? He slept through another briefing. Search and rescue. Biogeneticist Dr. Laura Sorkin. Genetic Engineer, David Burns. Park Veterinarian, Jerry Harding. And his daughter, Jessica Harding. Also, an unidentified woman in need hey, of medical. you a daughter? Yeah, I guess it was feed your daughter to work day or something. Good thing they sent me along to rescue her. Giant flesh-eating dinosaurs or Billy Yoder? I'm not sure which sounds safer. Bravo team, this is Alpha Dog. What's your ETA on the visitor center? Over. We're here, where are you? This place is a disaster area. There's no sign of the survival. Our sweep heading to the LZ now. ETA 10 minutes out. Whoa, whoa, decaf. Not so fast. That tow will be there, but not till I get to see some dinosaurs. Or I can finish our sweep and rendezvous with Bravo team. If you want to see dinosaurs, I'll get you some coloring books. <laughs> 
They might be too complicated for Yoda. How about it, Billy? Can we keep in the lines? Listen, InGen wants us to get in, get the survivors, and get out. That's it. That's where you're wrong, Decap. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna end it. Uh, shame I couldn't have ended it right at the end of episode one. Uh, this is really strange. There was no like military Calvary. Here comes the Calvary type scene in Jurassic Park. It kind of spits in the face of uh, no pun intended, uh, but it spits in the face of what Jurassic Park was about, where the dinosaurs were running loose and everybody was in constant danger. Now we're gonna follow a group that's not really gonna be in as much danger. Well, they probably still will be, but they don't think they will be. Uh, this is strange. So we're gonna start the next episode, we're gonna follow a different group, and I imagine with each episode we'll follow a different group. Um, is that good? I don't really think so. I mean, because if we're not super interested in one third of the story, in two thirds of the story, then it's not gonna be that fun. And if we are super interested in one part of the story, well then we're only gonna see it for one third of the time. So either way you kinda lose, unless all three thirds are equally interesting and worth it. And I'm sure all these stories will intertwine for some big uh, wrap up. Maybe they'll fix some things. Uh, episode two obviously came after episode one. Maybe they had some time to, to work on it and we won't have as, as terrible gameplay mechanics going on. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. We'll start right back here. As always, I ask that you like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can do that by clicking on my name right there. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. If you want to friend or favorite me on basically any social media site, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.